Zero, they call me. All right, hey, let's play a welcome to chapter two, Life Blooms Anew in Yakuza 6, which your boy, hero, they call me. So we found a babby on the last one. No idea is whose babby it is. Could be mine. This child. It's Haruka's? I told you. I think that's what I guessed last week. I can't remember. I don't believe it. Yeah. Oh, so I'm start, uh, look at his name. It's Haruto. Here. What does that mean, anything? Haruto Sawamura. Why would it be Sawamura? There's no doubt he's Haruka's kid. Why? You're telling me there's no other Sawamoras in Japan? No way, you sure? That last name's just icing on the cake. Haruka would have died to keep him safe. That's only a mother's sacrifice. Who the fuck you banging? But what about the father? Who's the father of this child? We don't know. You don't know? There was nothing on her person that would have helped us to identify him. Her phone was broken in the accident, but we're trying to extract his data. Beyond that, we aren't even sure when Haruka arrived in Kamurusho. Well, I'll have to ask her when she wakes up. But she's definitely gonna wake up. We can't promise that. My apologies, but I don't want to give you any false hopes here. Doctors are doing everything in their power. All we can do is pray. Senpai, I should get going. There's still work to be done at the crime scene. Hold on a minute, Honcho-san. What is it, wasn't it? Hmm? Where did her accident happen? Why does it matter? Going there yourself will change the situation. I've already personally I presume the culprit. I watched the Bikuza. I should stay out of it. Uh, hey, Honjo, watch your mouth. You can say whatever you want. I'm not going to just stand here and wait. Ruka should have been in Okinawa, but she ended up uh, in an accident here instead. I don't understand. Who was the bastard driving the car? And more importantly, was this really just a simple accident? Or Haruka? Do you mean someone may have tried to kill her? Maybe to get revenge on you? It's possible. There would be no forgiveness. Wait. Alright. The accident took place near Senryo Avenue. I can just take you there if you'd like. That okay with you, Date-san? Hey, if you don't mind, thanks. It was me, Austin! It's probably one of those creepy old men from uh, the last game that wanted to be her lovers. <laughs> We're here. Ruka Samuro was here with her child just a few hours ago. At that point, she was struck from behind by a black sedan. Car flew out of the parking garage, taking up the gate in the process. In the car was a lone man, some gangbanger in his 20s. He fled immediately after hitting them. How do you know all that? A gang? Remember the Tojo clan and the tri triads are in an all-out war. It's possible our culprit was trying to escape from a related incident. Which could be why he lost control of the car. If you're right, which side was he on? Tojo clan or the tri triads? Not necessarily either. It's not like those are the only active syndicates in Kamarusho. Mm -hmm. Let me back up a bit. Three months ago, a Chinese immigrant was murdered. He was Sayo triad. And not only was he a ranking officer, but he was the boss, his only son too. In other words, he stood to inherit the entire triad. His name was Jimmy Lowe. Tensions really escalated after his death. The Tojo's six chairman was arrested, and all the conflict sparked up all over again. In the Tojo clan, did they kill Jimmy Lowe? We're still not sure ourselves. The Sayo seem to believe so, though. They start, they start scouring the city for any Tojo Yakuza they can get their hands on. To retaliate, the Tojo clan has been driving a Chinese out of the uh, civ civilians. It's a mess. To top it off, the other groups are moving into Kamarush to take advantage of the chaos. There's no way that the Tojo and the Sayo are the only ones involved in this by now. It wouldn't surprise me if the guy who hit Haruko was from a third party. Oh, and I should mention, you have history of one of the organizations that crept into Kamarusho. Mm -hmm. Korean gang. The Jingwon Mafia. Oh, they're back? Hell yeah. Both times they expanded into Kamarusho, they were obliterated by the Tojo clan. The first time was over 30 years ago, and the second was just a decade back. I'm told you played a large role in the crushing with the Tojo clan. That was ages ago. It may be to you, but remember their grudges, both with you and the Tojo. If you plan on staying in Kamarucho, I suggest you watch your back. Okay. Investigate the accident! Tire tracks. The car was probably swerving down the road as he tried to regain control. But what was it? Why was the driver being so reckless? Was he really just panicked? I don't know. Maybe. Blood tracks. 
blood splatters. This must be where Haruka was hit by the car. That's where Haruka Swarmer was walking when the car came. She tried to get out of the way once she noticed, but there was no escape. All she could do was wrap herself around the child to keep him safe. Damn. Look around you, though. There are skid marks all over the road. After he hit Haruka, the driver tried to stop, but then he second-guessed it. Must have been quite a hurry. He didn't even stop to check if the young woman when he hit was alive. So, what you're getting at? Let's think about this. Assuming the driver went after Haruka to get revenge on you, wouldn't he need to check whether or not she was still alive afterwards? In this case, Copper didn't do that. That can only be one reason. Your history was accused had nothing to do with uh, why she was hit. It was just an unfortunate accident. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time. She put your mind at ease. But that punk driver is still out there, isn't he? Is it really that easy for a common thug to escape from the law these days? At least they're making a concentrated effort to find him. It's too early to say escaped. By the way, perhaps you haven't noticed, but you're being watched. That guy in the hat? How long has he been there? I only just spotted him, but he's certainly trying to record you. Is he keeping tabs on me, or is he here to see the crime scene? What do you do? Just want to have a chat. If he's interested in me, I should give him the personal intro. All right, let's go beat his ass. Hey, buddy, you wanna fucking throw down? Yeah, I'm there now. Everything's going smoothly. Hey. What are you up to there? Shit. Wait. Uh, time for a chase, eh? Why would he take pictures of me? Why not, man? You wanna run a little bit faster there? God damn. I put a lot of shit into my sprint already and I feel like I'm going mad slow up. <laughs> Look how slow you are. I got the same issue with the original, uh, not the original, but Yakuza Zero, where my sprinting felt like he kept slowing down like that for no reason, even though I'm holding the A button down. So I don't know if it's my controller or if that's just how they implemented the sprinting in this game to make you go slower so the guy can get away. I have no idea. But I'm assuming that's the reason for it. Who the hell are you and why were you spying on me? I wasn't spying on you, I swear I was protecting you, poor chairman. Wait, you're Tojo Clan? Yes, I'm from the so Somea family, one of the Tojo Clan subsidiaries. Somea? Please forgive me, poor chairman, my boss ordered me to. He wanted me to stay in the shadows to make sure you stay safe. But I just go to Kamarucho today, and no one from the Trojan Clan knew I was coming. This doesn't make any sense. How did they know I'd be here? I'm not really sure myself. I was just following orders, sir. He said if I waited by the alley, you would show up. He also told me someone very important to you was in the accident. My boss needs to know a lot about you. So he does. Where exactly is this boss yours now? Where can I meet with the Patriarch of the Somea family? I have contacts who can tell me if you want, if you won't. Goddamn. I'd rather save us both some time. If you insist, my boss. He's in Tojo headquarters. He said he had a meeting with acting chairman Sugwe. Tojo headquarters, damn it. I never want to step from there again. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. Hmm, is something wrong? I just spent three years in prison to wash off the stench of the Tojo clan. I've only been out for a few days and I'm already getting pulled back in. Maybe. Just maybe. Stop coming back to Kamarusho. No, but Haruka's accident. Looks like my answer to Tojo Clan headquarters. Just find a taxi. Or you should see if there's any sub stories. That's the wrong button. Sub stories. Don't see any on the map. I don't know if you need, uh, what's it called in this game? The, um, finder, whatever it's called. Not the item finder, but like the sub story finder. I don't know if sure that's a thing. Or if it isn't. And I could go into the sewers, but I don't have to s a. Like a lower and higher map right now, so I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna go hit a taxi up and go to Tojo. Alright, here we are. Tojo Clan headquarters. What's up, boys? Can you imagine they didn't know who I was? They're like, wait a second. They work outside the Tojo Clan, they don't even know who the fourth chairman is. It wouldn't surprise me in this game, considering half the people I run into have no idea who I am. For some reason. Nice suit. It's an honor to have you here, poor chairman. Good afternoon. I'm Somoya, patriarch of the Somoya family. Your recent sit in jail is very much appreciated. You did well. Yeah, I like your suit and your tie combo, man. It's a nice, nice little look. Takumumi Soyama, patriarch of the Somoya family. 
They knew I'd come back. I have to forgive the actions of my so subordinate, Fourth Chairman. He caused a misunderstanding. What exactly do you mean by that? Let's tape up a, com a conversation for now. Perhaps we can discuss further inside. I'm sure your time behind bars has left you exhausted. And besides, Tsugi-san has been looking forward to meeting you. You know of uh, Tsugi-san, huh? His social history may be longer than yours, Kira-san. The sixth chairman indisposed for his trial, Tsugi-san is acting chairman. And he's the one who had that guy trailing me? Again, let's talk inside. I would love to be uh, regaled by the tales of your days as a young Yakuza for chairman. I'm sure we could all stand to learn a thing or two from a man as accomplished as you. Right? Why does it seem sketchy as fuck? <laughs> I still look here as a one suit. That's right, bitch. That's what I thought. The fuck out of my way. They just file, file, yeah, file your nails at your desk. Excuse me. Apologies for intrusion. Oh. Come in. I brought the four chairmen. Well, it's time to see you, four chairmen. Do you remember me? I don't. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Here's the answer is no. I've only ever been an advisor, even under the six chairmen's rule. I don't blame you. Katsumi Suga. Act chairman of the Social Clan. As I'm sure you heard, they call me on, uh, on me to step uh, in after the sixth chairman's arrest. Because the Tojo clan was getting younger, the old guard swoops in to fix things. It must seem rather unstable in your eyes. It's quite a table you brought in here. The few that seem to talk more with our pens than our fists these days. Another sign of their times. There's some, some way over there. He doesn't look like much of a peer pusher to me. I'll leave the match to the number crunchers, or the math, the match. Every Yakuza has his role to play, you know? Please, take a seat, for Chairman. Nice chairs he got. I'm trying to think why I'm so tired. I'm like, oh yeah, I went to bed at 2 last night. I don't plan on staying long. Before I go, I do have a few questions. I assume this is about the hit and run on your sweet Haruka. Keep her goddamn name out of your mouth! <laughs> a terrible tragedy. You had my condolences. When did you hear about Haruka's accent? Who told you? I was informed by the police not long after the incident. Did they tell you everything that happens to Kamaru Show? It's no secret that Hiroka Suwarma is very special to you, Forbes Chairman. Naturally, the significance is what led the police to contact us so quickly. Do you have any other questions for me? Dude, I'm fucking gassed right now. I'm just yawning like crazy. At the, at the scene of the accident, there was a man spying on me with a camera. He said he was with the Samoya family. Did you get that order, Suge? It wasn't spying. It was protection. We've been looking for you ever since we heard you returned to Kamarucho. Checking in on you at the scene of the accident was the only way to confirm your well-being. Tomea speaks the truth. 
でも差し上げられると思ったんですけど、今は中国人とどう違うんですか？四代目は肩身になった。They are civilian now. They may not have extended their civilian courtesy. マトにかけるかもしれません。余計なお世話。I didn't ask for that. I don't need your help. You're a man of strong character, for chairman. I'm well aware of that. Hence why I chose、uh, to act in secret. You would never knowingly accept our help. My apologies if I have upset you. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, Sigetsan? The four chairman doesn't need our protection. It'd be pointless for the Chinese to target him anyway. The dragon Ojima is dead. Anyway, that name carried is gone. So what'd you say to me, boy? Hirosan. May I have been watching you? Yes, but don't assume you have any value to us. The current conflict、uh, rests on my generation, not yours. It has nothing to do with a fossil like you. Your generation sounds pretty cocky. This war with the Chinese has left us no choice. And is it any wonder? Until recently, he was the power was vested in his financial prowess. So it follows that the six chairman's officers were all very intelligent men. But now things have changed. The Tojo clan at war. All that matters now is whether or not the Kuzu can fight. Your value as a Kuzu is a direct correlation to your body count. In other words, your ascent by force. It's dawn of a new era for us Kuzu. It's pretty much what I did. <laughs> Doesn't that sound amazing, Four Chairman? You lost power in much the same way, didn't you? Yep. Not even the,、uh, the ounce invincible Sugaesan has to rely on you to keep the clan intact. Isn't that right, Sugaesan? They risk their lives for our cause, so we promote them. It's only fair. They come here today to talk about the value of the Yakuza. I'm only going to ask this once. Were you involved in Hiroka's accident? You really know nothing. What are you implying? What purpose would such a horrible act even serve? Right. As it stands, I believe you. Haruka and I have less than nothing to do with your little war. But hear me, hear me now. The Tojo clan even thinks about laying a hand on my family. I will bury all of you. Oh my God! We're interested in making an enemy of the Dragon of Ujima. We have plenty of other playthings to keep us occupied. What if Haruka banged one of the Jingwan Mafia and had his baby, and that's why they hit her? <laughs> I don't know. Something's dumb like that. After all that, I still don't have any leads. Can I really count on the police to find this guy? Maybe I should head back to New Serena in case there's been an update. What if there is a side mission now? No sub stories. I don't know. Callan will tell me if I need to find a thing to get sub stories or not. But I could have sworn they popped up earlier, so maybe not. Maybe they're just staying any right now. So we'll head to New Serena. What up? What up? Hey, girl. Nice pearl necklace. You want another one? Oh, Kirisan. I heard from Dates on earlier. He said Haruka-chan was in an accident. Yeah, as we speak, she's in the critical condition in the ICU. They haven't found the guy who did it yet either. I'm trying to find out what、uh, what I can do on my own too. No luck yet though. Kirisan, you have a smartphone, right? I do. Can I see it for a sec? There, that should do it. Hmm, what'd you do? It's all an app that serves as a sort of bulletin board for Kamurocho. I'm not sure, but you might be able to find some info in there. Thanks for that, Mama. I'll look at it later. All right. This town has to know something, does it though? Why can't I leave through this door? It says I can, but I never can. All right, whatever. Let's go see what the town knows.
if I could get to the door. We can tanky ass Kiru. Down the elevator, please. Do 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 do. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah. Oh, hold up a sec, old man. Can I help you? Damn right. I'm in a real tight spot right now. How about you lend me your wallet for a bit? I'm not sure about that. It doesn't sound like you'd be giving it back. Hmm, I'm done playing nice, asshole. Give me your goddamn money. He doesn't seem like the easiest target to pick on. You know? I'm just saying. I don't have the best bet. Alright, I have some sign. Don't worry, it's sign. Alright, night night. Smash. Good job, boys. <laughs> Seriously, I don't get it. How does this old dude beat us? Goodbye. Who the? Oh my god, it's Okada. What's all the commotion? Ah! You're, you're, ju you're the justice guy. Rain Rainmaker! So good. What's up, Okada? Looks like we got a real fighter here. Not nice in trouble handling him, are we? Need me to tag in for, for a round? No thanks, we're good. Seriously, please, we don't want to cause any trouble. Really? I don't know who that is. Anyways, we're out of here. I'm picking up on some intense vibes from you, something to that of the Yakuza. Yeah, not quite. Perhaps that's the life you left behind, am I right? Just who are you? Me? I'm Kome of Justice. Justice, that's some new gang town? Gang is not exactly the right word. If anything, we're formed to destroy gangs. Justice is the name implies a gathering of like minded people determined to attack justice. Hmm, you can't say you really looked the part. This is gonna take all day, Komai? Sorry, sorry, I tend to lose myself around such an interesting specimen. I'll be ready soon. Hurry up. That man is Katsuka Okada has been butchered that. Uh, he who makes money fall like rain, hence his mon moniker, Rainmaker. He is also the one who pres uh, presides over the 3,000 members of Justice. 3,000? You're surprised with a 3,000 man army? To be clear, we are not to be trifled with. Donned by uh, Chris Charisma, the troubled youth of today flock to join the ranks of Justice. Here in the daunting streets of Konrucha, we give their raids direction and purpose. If my hunch is correct, we will most certainly cross paths again soon. Until then, come back and it's like the whole damn place has gone nuts. This damn city. Can you imagine if, like, for some reason, instead of using like Okada, they just use like the guys from the Bullet Club and the Bullet Club were in this game? <laughs> AJ Styles. All right. Uh, sub stories. Don't, don't see anything, so we'll just continue going on to the main mission. So let me check my phone. That app they added. Uh. I'm not sure what it's called, so that doesn't help. Troubler, maybe? Like Tumblr? I'm assuming that's what it is. Anyways, we're just gonna go to the main mission. Alright, what well, we got around the corner? Uh, do you have a minute, sir? Hmm? You seem to be quite a strong individual, and you're clearly whole justice in your heart. Your eyes are a dead giveaway. You may even be the one who can save this city. And this is? I'm getting ahead of myself, though. I'm Tora Furu. The city has gone to the dogs. So Violence and crime are spreading like a plague. Even the police are struggling. At this rate, we have hit a point of no return before the police can even act. Not even civilians are safe now. So I set up a social network specifically to get things under wraps. Troubler. Whenever an accident occurs in town, people can post it and seek help. The more we help, the safer we make it our home. That's why I was hoping you'd lend us a hand. I see. Okay then. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu san, then. Thank you very much. I'll register you on the Troubler now. There we go. From now on, you'll get notifications about incidents around town. Please help out if you have the time. Well, I have high hopes for you. Let's make Conrad a safe place to live again. Incidents around Conrad will be posted on Troubler. Select the post from the list to begin a mission. Yep, okay, there we go. I'm assuming this is how side stories work in this game. I'm certainly hoping so, because I don't want to, like, do some here and they just never end. Can you imagine? Still nothing on it, so, uh, nothing to worry about there. We're just gonna go walk around for a bit, I guess. Try to find out where the heck I'm supposed to go, because we don't have a mission anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Phone be ringing. Date san. Yeah, it's me, Akiyama here. With, uh, Akiyama's here with me at the hospital. Just come back if you can. I need to head out for a bit. Okay, I'll be right there. See you later then. What if Akiyama's the father? Would he be considered like a groomer if that was the case? Oh, advanced techniques. Use heat actions or heat modes. Yeah, I'm aware of that already. Thanks. Just get rid of these. Extreme heat mode. Yeah, I'm aware of that too. 
Tom Russo newsletter. Oh, it's nothing in that. Okay. Anything on my phone before I leave? The Troubler app. Oh, okay. Check the map one more time just to be on the safe side. All right. Kirsab. Akama. Akama, huh? What's this? You got you got cleaned up. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was a homeless. I never forget that. Yeah, well, I kept getting turned away at the door in those rags. Well, you look like shit. It smelled like shit. That just don't tell me everything, though. Haruka chan is still in the ICU. He's still unresponsive. I see. One more thank you, Rasan. It's about Haruka's chan child. Kid, what? There's a guy here from Child Services says he wants to talk to you, Kirasan. Hey, Haruka Sonoma's associate, yes? I'm, uh, Nojiri from Child Protective Services. I received a call earlier today asking me to retrieve her child from the hospital. What? Uh, Sonoma-san has no living relatives. We will be taking custody of the child. This is just standard procedure in these cases. Sorry, but if you'll excuse me. Is Haruka's son going to end up in an orphanage? Yeah, so considering he's not even a year old, he'll go to a nursery first. Regardless, he must be taken until re uh, until Swarmer Sign can fully recover. Hold on a second. I'm Ruka Swarmer's guardian. The name's Kiryu. I can take responsibility for a child. You guys don't need to get involved. Here's song. You claim to be our guardian, yet you're not related to her. Therefore, you're a self-proclaimed guardian who has no legal claim to the child. Imagine, what if I were only saying that to the harvest the baby's organs or something? Excuse me? The hell? Sorry, I suppose that was a bit of an exaggeration, but if we did hand the child over to you, the liability would fall directly on us. Nowadays, when a uh, parent beats their child to death, the public blames our agency. People simply choose to ignore the fact that we're understaffed and overworked. If anything were to happen to the child under our, your care, we would, we would take the fall. Please try to understand my position. Look, it's Nojiri-san, right? Is everyone in Child Protection Services a bastard like you? Can it be, right? Pardon? You don't even care about the kids. All that matters to you is your position. Haruka and I were raised in an orphanage. If you grew up with parents watching over you, you'll never know how painful that can be. So listen up. I won't let you send a kid who can't even talk to a place like that. Haruka would say the same thing if she were conscious. Talk all you want, but it doesn't change facts. You're not a direct relative. You have no sway over what happens to this child. The police never should have called you here. You're just interfering. Now then, I need to go speak to the hospital representative. Representative. Representative is a word. <laughs> Rather than take Ruka's child away from her. What? Hey, Kira-san, chill out a minute. I'm just gonna go beat up the hospital staff. Sounds like a good time. Listen here, fuckwads. This is my baby now. Alright, it'll be over soon. Just grabs a pillow. <laughs> Game just turns super dark out of nowhere. Let's not do this, Kira-san. Let Nojiri take him? He doesn't care what happens to these kids. The only way to keep this baby safe is me, or the only one. Say. Maybe, but the guy did have some logic behind him. People who know your personality are one thing, uh, personality are one thing, but the rest of the world. You're just an ex-con of the Yakuza. It's true, dude. Sorry, but there's not much we can do for uh, the kid until Haruka-chan wakes up. We to let the authorities handle this the way they see fit. But if Haruka takes the turn for the worse, her son would. What are you saying, here, son? Don't even go down that path. How can you know? They put Haruto in an orphanage for sure. And if they did, there'd be nothing I could do to help him. They'd be a total stranger. What do you mean? Can't you just, like, get a wife and adopt it? I don't even know if you need a wife. I never see his face again. What? That's what happens when a child gets sent off to an orphanage like that. No matter how hard I struggle, it'll be impossible for me to help him. Haruka wouldn't want that for her only child. You see, this is my only chance. Only chance for what? What are you doing here? Get your hands off that child. We're in the middle of something here. Can you wait outside? Absolutely not. I'm not having that child this instant. You think you can get away with this? Alright, jump out the window. 
I'm taking him with me. I'll get him back once Haruka wakes up. Trust me. Can't let you do this, Kira-san. Yeah, taken back in? This time as a kidnapper? How can I face Haruka? You really do that to her? My choice is made, Akiyama. You can't choose my mind. I'm trying anyway, Kira-san. I'm telling you, you're making the wrong call here. Yeah, that's Nakayama. Once you're in a way, think something through. You gotta consider the consequences. Enough. You think I know this, uh, this isn't wrong? This is wrong? Whatever happens to me doesn't matter. Nobody else does either. That's a big ass baby, man. I need to protect her son now. I have to do this. Like, he's like a side of like a two year old. You're dead set on stopping me. There's only one way forward. No, use the baby as a weapon. Can you imagine? Nunchuko! <laughs> Step aside. Akiyama. Damn it. Why won't you listen? He's hard headed. Hard-headed pig boy. God oh, damn, son. Shonokiyama. Well, you know, I don't think it's the right call, f first and foremost, to not have this room guarded by at least a nurse, or a security officer, or something of that nature. But also, you know, the fact that we're in a nursery and having a fight right now. Probably not the best guys to be watching a baby. Like, literally, I knocked over the crib. There could have been other babies in here. Who knows? Oh, hell yeah. Not today. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, he's heating up. Feel the heat. Right, bye, Akiyama. Sorry. Didn't really want to fight you, but the game's like, you know what? This is a good idea. And I just can't bring myself to fight you for real. Got my ass kicked for nothing. I'm sorry, Akiyama. I'm taking the kid. Really, the only, is taking the kid really the only way? We're all kind of screwed, you know? I don't act before I think sometimes. Call it a bad habit of mine. Just a you answer. Guess that's why you're the only one and only Kiru, Kazuma Kiru. Guess so. So, there should be like a shit ton of security outside this door right now. And there's literally nobody. This is the worst hospital ever. A guy just literally walked into the nursery and stole a baby. <laughs> Not a single person tried to stop me except for the- except for my friend. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, you got any food for babies? Perhaps a steak? Some jelly beans? Just a little long, okay? You must be starving, huh? You can't give a baby. You're not just gonna give that to a baby, are you? Yeah, like shit. Date-san. If it's food you're looking for, try something more like this. How can you be that dumb that you don't know what to feed a baby? You never changed, do you? Still a loose cannon. Still a dumbass. There, there, that's it. Give him some titty. He wants some titty. Don't drop him, easy now. Be gentle. Oh, please. Remember, Nojiri from Child Protective Services? Yes, obviously. Hmm. Convince him to let you take the kid. Told them I'd take the fall for anything that might happen under your care. You did that for me? Wants to know what he said next? Take him for all I care. Did he forget about the whole hospital incident with you too? Bash doesn't give a damn about his kids as long as they're not on his list. 
Hopefully well, guys like him are an exception to that rule. He's probably got a lot on his plate with child services so understaffed. Apparently he's requested a chancellor that he ought to grant it for the kid's sake. Yeah, no shit. Not to mention the pride of everyone with any pride working for that agency. I'm sorry for all this, Sate-san. No, you're not. It's nothing. I was pretty worried about Haruka's kid getting taken away myself. It reminds me that that Saya at that age. She's all grown up now, though, in control of her own life. Saya, has it really been 10 years since she got caught up in that host camp? Yeah, hands down, one of the darkest moments of my life. If you hadn't been there to help us out, both Saya and I would be goners. You know, Kiryu, it feels like I still haven't thanked you for all you did for us. And drinks are on you tonight, Dad-san. That would make a 10-year-old doubt even. Hell no, wouldn't seem to come close. This is kind of hard to say, but I got some news for you. Hmm? About Haruka. She dead. She dead? Haruka? What's happened? What's going on with her? She had to have emergency seriously to manage to save her life. But now she has no brain. But she's still comatose. The doctors don't know when or if she'll regain consciousness. No way. Yes way. Yahweh. Why did that ice just move by itself? How did it come to this? Hey, you went poking your nose around Kamarusha's hair, right? Yes. Is there anything about what happened after Ruka disappeared? Not a thing. Nothing at all. She left Okinawa, disappeared for three years, and then sh showed up here. That's all I know. I see. In that case, this is probably the only lead we have. Hmm? What's that? A photo we pulled up from Ruka's cell data. She's on OnlyFans. We managed to recover it even though the phone got smashed in the accident. Ow, it smashed my fucking foot. Any idea where it was taken? This background tells me nothing. Well, oh, we actually managed to pull a GPS data from the phone uh, photo too. These crazy phones record the exact spot a picture was taken in. It's true. And that spot is, well... It's in Hiroshima. Hiroshima? Yeah, somewhere around... Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that. In the city of Onomichi. You're telling me that Herka left Okinawa to go to Hiroshima? Hiroshima. I don't want to go to Hiroshima, it's scary over there. So it seems after that, she decided to come back to Kamarusho and got in the accident with her son today. I can't say for sure, but it's likely Haruka spent those years uh, those years in Hiroshima. Haruka's father's in Hiroshima then. He may know what Haruka's been up to uh, and why she was in Kamarusho. I bet he could tell you everything. So what's next, Kiru? Just say I have a lot of questions for this guy when I find him, but first, I'll teach him a lesson about being around uh, for a birth of a child. He's going to learn how a real father takes care of his children. I'll leave for Hiroshima tomorrow with Haruto. How much that's the best idea, hmm? Hiroshima is home to the Yomei Alliance. The Yomei Alliance? After the Yomei, Ohomi and the Tojo, they're easily the third strongest clan in Japan. They never allied before, which keeps them neutral. They're not hostile either. That might sound downright agreeable, but that doesn't mean you want to test them. They don't exactly take kindly to intruders. The Yomei Alliance tried, but not even they could push into the Yomei turf. Yeah, I was always told to stay out of Hiroshima. Nobody ever said why, though. The Yomei Alliance practically operates like a medieval uh, uh, shogunai. Sure, instead of focusing on expansion, Chairman Kurusu fortified his own turf. I'm sure the name rings a few bells, considering the world he left behind. I didn't read that. Right. 
but I, I never heard of anyone who actually met him during the Tojo days. Tina Zume cut off communication to the outside. We have almost nothing on him. Even the police haven't heard the name uh, Takuro Kurosua since uh, the mid 70s. So, what you're telling me is that you, you guys don't even know if he's still alive? He is. He's probably pushing 100 by now. Hardly like a guy with a foot in the grave could keep a whole clan in check, right? Uh, according to rumor, Kurosu actually died years ago. In this place, a captain named uh, Koshimisu has been pulling the strings behind the scenes. Long story short, not even the cops can say what's going on in the shadows of Hiroshima. Exactly. And that's why you of all people should steer clear. One wrong move and you could spark a war between the Tojo and the Yomen. I'm just a civilian now. I don't have that kind of influence anymore. Yeah, well, that's what I figured you'd say anyways. That's son. Um, I'm away from Tokyo. I need you to watch over Haruka. Yeah, I'll make sure she's okay. Akiyama would probably fish him too. I have to say, Haruka's kid turned out pretty damn cute. She probably uh, knows better than anyone that this is no time to be unconscious. And I know Haruka's going to wake up. And when she does, Kiro, you better have Haruto's father here to see it happen. Yeah. Well, that's chapter two. These chapters are burned by pretty quickly. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what you're thinking about the story thus far. And as always, uh, share the great gospel here to call me, and I'll catch you next week with more.